Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is KK Nessar and today we'll be doing a makeup look on this look, of course. And yes, I went through a lot of struggles to get this look out because I don't know if the foundation routine part of this look is actually recorded. One, two, I recorded some with some piece where I was talking to y'all and then that did not happen so I don't even know how this video is gonna look but hopefully it came through because I was trying to get this to go for y'all and I hope you guys love it even though it probably just with the eyeshadow that you guys see but I have other videos that I have shown you guys how I have done my my entire face routine so it's still the same nothing different However, I did record it in this video, but it, I don't know, I don't know, I just had to use my other SD card from my vlog channel to put in this camera because I don't know what's up with that SD card, but all I can say is that I hope it still pull through and yeah, I do hope that you guys get to see this look because if not, then this look is just for probably my... Snapchat and if you don't follow me on Snapchat, my Snapchat name is Miss Necessary. It's down below in the description box as well as my Instagram and my Facebook. And what else should I tell y'all? Oh, I've been in my hair for a while. I'm definitely going to do a little chit chat video after this one. So look out for that to be my next video or a vlog maybe because I Seems as if I'm MIA, but I've been still vlogging, I've just not been editing and uploading on my channel. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. So, I honestly don't know how much of the video got cut off because I'm realizing that something went wrong with my memory card a while ago. So, hopefully, y'all got to see how I did my foundation. If not, I already have videos with how I did my foundation already. And I also showed you guys the look I was going to do for today. So this is the look. Yeah. So this is the look I'm trying to accomplish today. So it's a colorful look and I was packing on the yellow. The yellows that I'm using are from the 35B palette and the Jacqueline Hill um, palette that collaboration that she did with Morphe so I was using the yellow from it and the mustard color which is um, creamsicle in the Jacqueline palette so it's the only matte yellow in the 35B palette and the creamsicle shadow from the Jacqueline nail palette. So all I'm doing basically right now is patting in the colors because to get it vibrant we need to pat the colors in. And I'm using this type of brush to do so. Hopefully everything went okay with the other part of this video. If not, we're just doing the eyeshadow look. So I pat that color on. Now I'm going to pat the, the orange in. And afterward, after the orange, we're going to do the pink. And then everything else will be from the 35B palette. So basically, I just use the mustard from the third, from the Jacqueline Hill palette to assist with the yellow because the yellow from the 35B palette to me is not that vibrant on its own. So I'm using the pink from the same palette now to put a little on it. We're building each color up. 
as we go along. The pink is so vibrant so you don't need to pack a lot of it on but the rest of the colors are not that maybe so yeah do a lot of packing if you want it to show up um vibrant that is it's not everybody wants the color as vibrant as i am doing it but i like it if i am doing a color color the colors must be popping so that's what i'm doing making the colors You will get a little bit of fallout if you do your foundation before you do this. So, um, if you don't want to be troubled with um, doing your foundation first, do all of this before and then you do your foundation routine afterwards. But I don't know, I just decided to do it this way. So, I'm adding the purple from the palette, and that is the lighter purple um, on top of the deeper purple. So for the purple, I want to blend the purple in with everything here. So it's going to add it to the top because the purple is a bit just around the sides. You understand what I mean? Purple is just right on the corner and on the top. So now we're going to go back in with the pink and we're also going to blend the pink into the orange at this time, blending it in. And then we're going to use the one that we used the orange for and pack on the orange. I'm using some of the deeper orange as well along with the lighter orange get the orange so it could be brighter. Packing it on, blending it in. Packing it on, blending it in. You can see. And then for the yellow, we're just going to add a little more because it's losing where it should be. Mostly. And then we're going to go back in with some of the orange to blend it out. And I'm going in back with the pink. And then we're going to go back in with the purple. So Finish for the finishing touch part, which is right here. So we're deepening the corner, and then bring it up. We're stopping right at the yellow. So that's what we have right now. I'm gonna need to pack the purple, the pink on a little bit more because it's getting hidden behind the purple. So now we're going to blend out the ends of the purple that we did up there. Slow blending. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye and come back. Okay, so I've done all of this. I don't know if the camera got none of it because it said something with my SD card. Something, 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 blah, blah, blah. But I'm still trying to pull through with this video. Even though this video has been giving me hell from the beginning. Like, hell. So, I use the blue in the I use the blue in the 35B palette and the yellow from top the one at the bottom so I use the blue and the yellow and then I'm going to add the purple as well to the outer the outer corner I don't know what's been happening and I don't know what is wrong with my SD card but hopefully there's something that I can put out because I actually did all of this on camera like I removed the translucent powder or the setting powder, I contoured, I highlighted and I don't know if all of that is even let me really and truly appreciate this one work because I'm just fed up. So, um, what I need to do is now make the wing. And I think this video, in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply lashes as well. Wait. Like I don't breathe. Let me see if I can get it that is close. Yeah. I really don't breathe. Hopefully we can get this wing. So that this one because today just seems to be a real crappy day. Anyway. But that's what it feels like right now. It's getting real crappy by the minute. Oh, this was supposed to be me showing you guys how to apply lashes as well. Right? So my my lashes are already custom to my eye. Let me. Because I don't normally cut off any. But if we have to cut off, we cut off from the end. And then we apply the glue. I applied my glue already. I don't know if you can see that. My hands are filled with glue too, so yes, I applied the glue to the lash band, the band, not the lashes, but the lash band, and then get you your mirror. Let me see if I can. I don't know if I can come any closer, and you guys will see because my, my camera seems to be out of focus when it's so much, too much. Alright, so I think it's okay. Then you look down in your mirror. So I have my mirror here. See my this is my mirror. So you look down in your mirror. Because you want to ensure that you can see your lash. Your lashes you don't place on my lashes. Then you're going to use it and put it in the middle. To the middle of your lash. Pop. Right? Then either the front of your lash. Boom. Then you apply it to the Part. Voila. And squeeze them down to ensure that they right on the lash lid there. Not the lash lid, what am I talking about? Lash line. So that's how you do it. I'm going to show you how to do it with the other one soon, but I need 
the glue wasn't drying, fully drying, so it's kind of a bit wet. So when that happens, all you have to do is just make sure you keep your eye open. You can see there's glue right here, especially when you use um, hair glue instead of lash glue. I use lash glue, but some, I think the hair glue is better for, well, I find the hair glue more effective. I use both sometimes. I still have lash glue and I still use it, but I use hair glue most times. I still have to my about how my eyes look popping now. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Uh, see, look at it. Look at that. No lashes. Lashes. See, there's just a big difference. It makes a big difference that lashes on. Yeah, so that's it. And what I did a while ago is to just bring my lashes down because sometimes your lashes will flare up like up like that. So you just bring it down. Bring it down, down, bring it down, down. And make sure that they. The tips are glued on. Look at that lash. Look at that lash. Look at that lash. <laughs> oh boy. So next lash now. So you take the you can just simple take the lash out or you can use it. You take the lash out. I'm gonna show you with my hand. So you take the lash out. You find the center of the lash. You can you know, find the center. Well, when you wear a lash often, you just easy to find the center. But if you don't know the center of the lash, you just put it on your arm without the glue. And I say, bam. Okay. That's harder than it looks. Then, bam. Where is the center? Alright, there's the center. Yeah, grab it by the center. Then you want it to be a little bit close to the lash band so you're holding it secure. So see how I hold it secure close to the lash band. And that is my center. And my palm and because this will look real ghetto with all of this on my hand. That is the glue and some eyeshadow and stuff. But yeah. I'm using my hand and I'm showing you stuff with my hand, so I need to wipe it off. Right, it's a bit of thick. When you think everything came off, so it's a little bit better now. So, yeah, this is how you hold it. So, now you need to put it on the, the part, the back. So, this is where you'd put the glue, and this is the back part of the lash. How you know the back part of the lash is because your lash flare up, evidently. So, this has to be the front because it's up the lash. That's the back. So, now you need to apply the glue to the back, to the band on the back. So, I use, I'm using this here so long, probably. Yeah. And. I don't like this not going to be And you just squeeze out a little. And then you apply it to the band. The band only, not the lash. The band. So you ensure that everywhere has glue. Literally everywhere. Like that. See? The glue is on the band only, not on the lashes. And if you want your lashes to last longer, this is how you you allow it to last longer. If the lash, if the glue goes on the lash, it lasts less. If the glue goes on the band only, you can just take it off afterwards. And you use your lash. Isn't that? I've, this is probably my fifth time. This is the lash that I wore mostly in LA, and I still have it, and it still look brand new. So let us put it back in the case after I'm done, pick off the glue on. Let's apply it again. So you get your, your mirror 
and then remember where the middle is, you're going to put it in the middle. So you're looking down. So I'm looking down on my room. I'm looking at you guys and I'm looking down on my room. Sorry about that. But you look down. Because you want to ensure that the lashes, your real lashes, don't get in the way. So you need to look down and just pop it right underneath there. So like that. In the middle and then you pop it to the end. And you pop it on the other side. And then you just pop everywhere else. If it's not joined by itself, it most time it does it on its own. And then that's the lash. See that? Do you see that? Alright, so I'm going to do my all time favorite nude look, which is my velvet teddy which is from mac and my color pop limbo then i'm going to add it with some nyx butter gloss in madeline box and then we top it off with a little gloss because i could leave it like this we could either leave it like this for glasses. And for glasses, I just add a little gloss in the center, right there, and just mix it all on everything. And that's my perfect mood. So this is the final look. Like, it's so pretty, it's a bit different from the look that you saw. In the image because the look has more yellow and orange I gave my own more purple yeah if you did not know purple is my favorite color so you know I had to give the look more purple so yeah this is the look I hope you guys enjoyed and if you recreate just take a pic and put it on Instagram and tag me in it like at me and I hope you like the little bonus part with me showing you guys how to apply our lashes at the end. Oh, I was supposed to talk to you guys, but I think I was probably just do another video telling you guys what I've been up to and all that bad jazz too. I'll see you in another video, guys. Bye.